Hey guys, welcome to Rosie's Dessert Spot. In this tutorial, I'll be teaching you how to make a tiramisu cake. I'm starting off with the coffee syrup. I've got some water, adding in some sugar here and stirring it until it's all dissolved. I'll have the recipe for all this in the description box below, by the way. I have that on medium heat, bring it up to a simmer for about five minutes and then turning off the heat. In the meantime, you can brew your coffee. You could use a coffee machine, espresso machine, um, even the Nescafe stuff. Just make sure it's nice and strong. And then add the coffee into the sugar syrup. Again, all the measurements will be in the description box below. Also add in some flavoring. Here I've got some Kahlua, which is a coffee liqueur, and some Shivers Regal. Adding in to the syrup also, I'm putting in some Masala, which is a sweet red wine. Once that's done, you could leave that to set and um, cool down to room temperature. In the meantime, cut your sponge cake. So I'm cutting the top off to make it nice and even and then dividing that into three different layers. I'm using my large serrated knife to do that. And then we'll create our filling. So I've got some cream, some mascarpone cheese here and some powdered um, icing sugar. Also adding in a bit of liqueur again for taste. If you don't want to add alcohol, you could always just add in vanilla extract or just a hint of coffee as well to add some color and flavor. Whisk that on high until it's all nice and thick, uh, stiff peaks and nice and hard. And then apply some of that onto your cake board, apply your very first layer of sponge and go in with the syrup which is now at room temperature or at least cold. You could chill it in the fridge if you like. And then brush it over, or I'm using here a squeezy bottle so it's nice and even uh, distribution of coffee. And then using a piping bag to generously add in the mascarpone and cream cheese filling, or the um, cream and cream cheese filling. Add on your next layer of cake. Make sure it's scented, push it down, and then add on the coffee syrup again. Here you can tell that I'm adding a lot more of the syrup. Reason being is that the syrup will sink into the sponge. Then just repeat those steps with the cream. And the very bottom layer doesn't have as much coffee syrup because it has nowhere else to sink into, so it could leak at the bottom. So always add a lot more coffee syrup on the top layers of cake, but not necessarily on the very bottom layer. And again, going in generously with my coffee syrup. And you definitely want to add a lot because you want that coffee taste to come through. And it's a pretty thick layer of sponge cake you see here. And then using the same mascarpone cheese um, kind of in cream frosting, going over the top of the cake, pushing it out to the sides, making sure the top is nice and flat. And then adding the same filling onto the side of the cake as well. Now this doesn't have to be crazy neat because we're going to be covering it with the Savariyadi biscuits slash ladyfinger biscuits. So just roughly straightening that up and then clearing off the edges of the cake, bringing that extra lip of frosting to the center. Then I'm adding on some cocoa powder, just dusting it over the very top, making sure it's all covered through to the edges as well. And then we'll add on our Savariyadi biscuits. These are the thicker range. If you can find them at the supermarket, they do make them in a thinner biscuit as well. I think the thinner ones would have looked nicer, but I couldn't find them anywhere. They still look good anyway, but if you can find the thinner biscuits, I'd probably go ahead and try to use those instead. Once you've applied all of those onto the side of your cake, you can start decorating the top. So I've got some um, punched out circles here of baking paper using regular dark chocolate, like the Cadbury brand or Nestle brand will do, melted down and then just zigzagging them over the circle punch-outs of baking paper. This just creates pretty little decorations that you can add onto the top of your cake. Going around the edges and just um, kind of tearing off any part of the chocolate that's not on the circle. And then taking off the backing and you have a perfect little handmade decoration to go on your cake. Using a 1M tip, creating little circle mounds of frosting. Uh, this is regular whipping cream. And just applying it one across from the other so you get them all evenly distributed. Then go in with a fresh strawberry, making sure to leave some space for your little chocolate decoration. That I'm sitting just behind the strawberry each time. And for the very last decoration, I'm adding in some ribbon. You could use a very thick ribbon to go around the center, but here I've used 
two layers of thinner ribbons, one on top of the other. Create a little bow. And you're pretty much done. Very last step, you can clear up the uh, cake board from the um, any coffee or cocoa powder. You make a very easy tiramisu cake, a little something Italian inspired. So I hope you guys enjoyed this beer tutorial. Very, very kind of simple and easy to decorate. Um, it kind of has the effect of a cake that you might find in a bakery. Kind of gives me that impression. But you can make it from home just as simply as you saw here. I'd just like to take this moment to say thank you for all the people who wished me a happy holiday. That was really, really sweet of you guys. Uh, it's definitely really good to be back. I'll just leave it at that. I, I couldn't wait to get home, honestly. So, yeah, I'll catch you guys again on Tuesday. And if you like my little cake toppers, I do sell those on my website, rosiesdessertspot.com.